crawls. The blue is even better than last time. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. You really think the Karja want to make peace? Ha! The Red Raids of... Jog! Get down from there! Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have Listen to go climbing to houses? Our guests. Oh, well, you'll have to do not supposed to go gone. climbing on other people's In roofs, huh? Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck.
happy to take your shards. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace, it's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Arles. and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold Luminance. your fruit, Nora, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster, raided my tribe for blood sacrifice just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Evil of the Nora. On the eve of your proving, no, the Karja stand with you as the sun's light frames the stoutest tree. He's wearing a focus. As though Just everyone's like acting like these cursed Karja. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Oh, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> Hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. 
I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? I won't let the cart of Faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? Start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you, it's a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost, and all he did to help me get here. Oh, mother, hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. It's for the goddess to judge the Karja, not me. The past should be left in the past. Did you see those Karja walk past? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. 
It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. yourselves what will it take to get you out of here Outcast. Looks like you'll need another.
Shop. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me! Strong. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Hervala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way, but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and climb. Who's in the lead? I can't see. see. Boss, the baller right behind us. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Hey, gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. How'd she get up there? Is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Ah! Ah!
You cannot... Wire. Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Stay together! Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many yeah, are there? Descend while we have a chance. Get back!
Dying. <gasps> to take her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? My clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Jerks are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or the damaged focus, the one I took off that. Where are they? I'm picking up some kind of signal. like the ruins I fell into when I was young. The Nora didn't build this place. The old ones did. 
there with the rest of my things. and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora Savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... 
This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. Another? <gasps> oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption. The goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. Or party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Uh, how was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the Goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a Seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May All Mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our homes lie with you.
here, so what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So, I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker blessing will protect you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was... done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked, like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of Allmother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a Seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Uh, why are we- Nora the faithful! The killers must be We will carjacked. soon begin! <laughs> Purify your hearts. All Soon we forgiven. will beg forgiveness she for will. the sins that brought she such will. misery on the world. The outcast girl. God, so she's divine to wounds. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? 
bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. If you think Tirsa and Jezza are traitors, why don't you head up the mountain and say that to their faces? Or do you only talk big when your superiors aren't around? I am the Nora War Chief. And I am a seeker, so do as you're told and open the gate. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. doing here you're a stitcher not a brave i came to help defend mother's watch but i never imagined i'd see anything like this you killed that demon 
pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. I need to test this device, see what it can do.